Hello there, this is another video in this series accompanying the Joomla tutorial developing an MVC component. And in this step, we're going to be looking at adding an install uninstall update script file. So the code in this step is really quite straightforward, just that extra um, file there, some extra language keys and updating the manifest file. So what I thought I'd do as a video on this step was to describe what happens when you actually click on this uh, browse for file button here, upload a file and install a new version of your Hello World tutorial. Now if you have um, an IDE like Eclipse, you can set a break in the installer code and you can then step through what the installer is actually doing, which is which is what I did on my current version of Joomla, which is I think 3.7 or 3.8. So things may vary a bit, but uh, these are the main steps in the process and they're described, the high level is, is in these two files. Uh, which I've got up at the top here. So let's get started. Um, the first thing if we put on our Firebug tools and install a new version. We'll see that hopefully what will come up is this post here. So you can see this has responded with a post, HTTP post, and if we look at the post details there, we've got our, this is the zip file I was up, uploading, and here's all the content of that zip file, which has been uploaded in the post body. So the first thing Joomla does when it receives that post is it stores it in a temporary directory. So it stores the, the data in a temporary directory and it will store it. Here's my hello world um, directory here and it will store it in this temp directory here. And it will then immediately after that extract all those files out of it. So we now have a, a, a kind of like a version of the the new version of our Hello World um, tutorial in that temp directory. So next thing it will do, it will try and get the sys.ini language file from that temp directory and load that. So it does mean that if you've got any strings that are associated with your installation, then you can put them in this sysini file here and when it is in that temp directory and um, the installer will actually process it so you'll have these um, ready and available to use within your any pre-flight or post-flight code there and that's what this describes here it's just um, things that you need to set up. If you've got your manifest file set up correctly, <clears throat> as described here, it will find that sysini file okay and will set up these uh, strings. So that's that. The next thing it will try and find if this is an existing component and will set up you know, information about that existing component where it's stored on disk and that sort of thing. Then it will read our hello world script file. So this file here, which we've put in in this step in the tutorial, it will read this file, process it, and this describes a class, and it will um, instantiate a, an object, a new instance of that class, ready for us to call these various functions in our class. So that's that. The next thing it will call our hello world pre-flight method. So pre-flight, it will call this code here. Then it copies the files from that temp directory to the target directory. So all the, the new version is in this temp directory here and it will copy it from that to administrator stuff will be an administrator components hello world 
and the site stuff will be in components hello world there so copy that code over next it will execute the database updates so what it will do it will go to um, the database and it will look in this table here schemas and it will find out the version associated with its extension id so if you go to the extensions table Um, 10036 we see as the bottom is our calm hello world extension so we'll find that id and then it will go to this schemas table as i said and it will see that the latest version that it has is version 15 and then what it will do is it will look in at the update um, XML. So it will look in our manifest file and see what version is there. Now I say the version in the database was say something like six and we're now installing version 15. Well, then what it will do, it will go to our um, administrator and components low world sql files and it will run all of the sql files between i think i said six if it if it's currently installed at six version six in the database it will run seven eight 12, 13, 14, 15 in order so that the database then gets progressively updated um, up to what it should be at version 15. And finally, it will set version 15 into this table then so it knows the next version coming along that it's already got version 15 in the table in the, uh, installed. Um, so that's that. It then calls our update method. So we're going back to our code here. It will call that. Or if we're installing it for new, it will call install or uninstalling, it will call uninstall at that stage. So then it's a matter of kind of tidying up. So it will check there's an asset for our component. So if we go back again to our database, we should find that there's an asset table in the asset table, we should find our calm hello world. And, uh, what is it? Let me just show you. Calm hello world, there it is. So we'll check that there's uh, an asset record for our component. It will also um, do some building of the component menu. Um, if you remember back, you will maybe remember that this component menu here is actually generated from information in the XML files and the manifest files. So if we go to our manifest file, we've got an administration section here and this here this menu tag here is what actually is used to generate that this this line here within this component menu and it's implemented via a menu record in the database so again if we can and it, here it is down the bottom, com hello world menu. So this represents that um, item here in our admin menu. So for example, if in your new version, you have changed your um, menu here, for example, you could put in a, a sub menu or you could be uninstalling or uninstalling for the first time. And in that case, what Joomla needs to do is it needs to set up um, entries in the menu table here so that whenever you come along to your component menu you can see the changes here 
So the bits and pieces like that, tidying up the files in our temp directory. And then finally, it calls our post flight trigger after everything has been done. And obviously you can see these um, in, the, uh, in the text that's displayed here. And meanwhile, along the way, there are various triggers which are activated. So for example, if you look in this uh, installer file here, you can see that this code here actually triggers an event on extension before install. And if you've got a plugin that is listening for that event, then you'll see that um, at that point. Okay, so that's basically it, the inst installation process. Hope you find that interesting. Now, if you're watching these videos uh, around the time that I'm producing them, you'll know that I've been really been generating, um, recording these videos to match the content which is in this tutorial here. And we've actually now reached the end of all the content that has been produced because we're at step 16 here and 17, 18, 19, 20 are all just stubs. So I was wondering about um, maybe trying to do some of these here. I know someone has expressed um, interest in maybe doing something like a front end update function which could be used, for example, for um, generating a, a registration form on your site. So that would be one possibility to do. So if you are actually interested in any of these things, or if you've got something else you'd be interested in um, uh, me tackling, then uh, find this video on YouTube and um, put a comment there and we'll see what we can do. Also, if you're interested in collaborating, um, then put, a, put a, a comment on the video there too. I mean, some other possibilities might be adding, um, you know, pictures to the Hello World database record or displaying maps, for example, that sort of thing. So let us know what you're interested in and we'll see what we can do. Um, the only thing I would be ask is would ask is to be patient because it'll probably take a bit of time to, to get all this put together. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope you hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Bye for now.